Press Freedom Day is marked annually to highlight issues around the safety and protection of journalists in the face of attacks against their independence and their personal safety, and as a reminder to governments of the need to respect their commitment to press freedom. It's also a day of reflection among media professionals on standards and ethics, while remembering those fallen in the pursuit of truth. The White House Correspondents' Dinner, an opportunity to not only make fun of those in power, but to affirm the role of the free press in democracy. At home, a poison is running through our democracy. Of all, all this taking place with disinformation massively on the rise, where the truth is buried by lies and the lies live on as truth. What's clear, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, that you, the free press, matter more than you ever did in the last century. I really mean it. More than 20 journalists and media workers have been killed since the beginning of the war in Ukraine, just the most recent example of the dangers associated with reporting from conflict zones where the rules of war are often inexcusably blurred by the fog of war. We honor journalists killed, missing, imprisoned, detained, and tortured, covering war, exposing corruption, and holding leaders accountable. We honor members of the press, both national and local, covering the once-in-a-century pandemic when we lost a million Americans, a generation reckoning on race, an existential threat of climate change. The free press is not the enemy of the people, far from it. At your best, you're guarding the truth. Comedian Trevor Noah, who often uses his comedy and commentary to challenge those in power, called the Fourth Estate a bastion of free democracies. You realize how amazing it is. Like, in America, you, you have the right to seek the truth and speak the truth, even if it makes people in power uncomfortable, even if it makes your viewers or your readers uncomfortable. You understand how amazing that is? I stood here tonight and I made fun of the President of the United States, and I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine, right? <laughs> he also highlighted restrictions imposed on journalists working in Russia who face up to 15 years imprisonment if they report on details of the war in Ukraine that run counter to the government's narrative of a special military operation. If Russian journalists who are losing their livelihoods, as you were talking about, Steve, and their freedom for daring to report on what their own government is doing, if they had the freedom to write any words, to show any stories, or to ask any questions, if they had basically what you have, would they be using it in the same way that you do? Ask yourself that question every day, because you have one of the most important roles in the world. UNESCO says World Press Freedom Day serves as an occasion to inform citizens of violations of press freedom and as a reminder that in dozens of countries around the world, publications are censored, fined, suspended and closed, while journalists, editors and publishers are harassed, attacked, detained and even murdered. And as Trevor Noah sought to emphasize in Washington a few days ago, just what a blessing it actually is for journalists to enjoy the right to seek the truth and speak the truth, even if it makes people in power uncomfortable. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.